Hey folks, I'm going to answer some viewers' questions and uh, also share with a little bit of historical information with you guys. You're going to get a hoot out of this one. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've got uh, several questions I'm getting from viewers. I figured I'd take this time and just uh, personally answer some of those questions. Uh, one viewer I wanted to know what kind of camera I'm using. It's this camera right here. It's a Canon XF100 is the one that I'm using, and I have been using it for quite a while. Uh, two years now. Uh, Prior to that, I used a Canon S5, um, and uh, there's been other cameras in the past I've used. There is a list down in the link if you guys are using a PC. I've got a list of the all the video production uh, material I use to create this show, and I also have a, a list of um, it's how to produce a YouTube video. So I've got an uh, instructional videos on that also. Uh, another, uh, one of my videos, you, you guys made this video go viral. I did not. <laughs> the video that went viral was, uh, I was asking a question and trying to do a review on the concept, does baking soda and flour uh, kill rodents? Well, the answer is yes, baking soda and flour uh, kills rodents, um, mainly rats, because rats apparently don't fart, and the baking soda is uh, creates bubbles, gas inside of them, and there's no way for them to expel the gas, so they like uh, burst inside if the rats get a hold of the baking, uh, baking powder or baking soda. And I've been, yeah, there's another question. So some of my viewers are asking me, am I using soda or powder? I'm using baking soda. Um, I've also used different other concoctions. I've tried um, sweetening up with cocoa, cocoa powder, uh, with uh, plaster of Paris. We've tried that concept. Bag, uh, Cocoa, plaster, Paris, baking soda, uh, baking soda, flour, cocoa, the whole mixture. I'm trying everything just to try to get rid of these uh, rodents. I'm, I'm, I'm even, even using live traps and the, <laughs> the traditional death trap. All of them seem to be working uh, because the rodent, the evident of the rodent population in the barn, at least, I can tell, is... Uh, there's less and less activity in the barn. There used to be a, a bunch of activity, but I've gotten rid of probably eight that I've seen, and two I've live trapped, and three I've death trapped. So we were able to dispatch uh, that many, and then I've been finding dead ones laying around, especially around the water areas, but it, it, it seems to be working. So uh, between you guys, YouTube, and Snopes, that fact check place they clung on to that video and has um, made it go viral too um, that was that was an odd one um, something also I wanted to point out is um, mysterious ghastly beasts you got you guys made it go viral also I was I just did it um, I had a mystery in my greenhouse there was some kind of rodent eating my uh, leafage in the greenhouse and I didn't know what it was so I set out my uh, trail cameras and discovered it was a vole, a Cascade Mountain vole and so I was able to finally identify it but at the time I created the title it was uh, it was a mystery to me and it was ghastly because of its eating my stuff and leading, leaving turds around and that's ugh, ew my food nah so we currently are dealing with a rodent in the house don't know how it got in I've got to go through and check the um, the screens in the um, 
ventilations again. See if there's any holes dug under the foundation. I just found where it's getting in, damn little beast. There, I found some metal screen in the shed and packed that hole full of that. I'll set that trap down there. And so we've got poison out. I sent more traps out. So we just got to keep them at least out of the house and just keep the population down. We can't have a cat in the house right now because we're afraid it might cross over my mother-in-law's path and trip her. And all I need to deal with is an elderly woman with a broken hip. <laughs> Sorry, folks, ain't going to do that. So no animals in the house right now. Um, another question we have is um oh, going back to the list of videos that i created for producing a video uh, a youtube video and the different methods i use for camera angles different things i've learned while on the job uh in you know throughout my acting career and in college taking a movie making in college uh motion pictures so uh i put this together on these things and if you guys want that list I'll just uh, copy and paste it to your comment and give you the whole list so you can go and watch all of them because I show you my different camera angles how long I change camera angles and like with this camera right now I'm just leaving the camera stationary but I'll use some um, some um what do you call it it's imaging magic that we use on the software not on the camera because there's different techniques you can use on the software itself and i'm providing you guys the ability to use free software uh that's downloadable for free and you can use it on your computer so you guys don't need any fancy schmancy stuff and get a lot of, um, put out a lot of money uh and just starting off with your your camera phone i have inherited this one from my uh, father-in-law and I use this I don't have cell service because and I don't pay cell service uh, fees I just use this to link up to an internet wherever I'm available and I can navigate the web but mostly I use it for the camera I filmed a couple episodes just recently with the camera on this one and uh, I'm able to take the chip out of the back and slide it into my card reader and then render the video uh, on Microsoft Movie Maker and create a, a cohes cohesive um, show and then present it. Still working on my bathroom remodel. I finished painting. I let the paint dry and I escaped off the homestead. I needed to get away. There's just, you know, there's always something to do at the homestead. And there's some things on my bucket list since I'm off work for a while. I wanted to go do something, so I escaped. I, you know, while the paint was drying, I went down and took a load of rabbits to cull, and I got some money to be able to pay for feed. And then I went to um, Wildlife Images up in Merlin, Oregon, and saw some um, um, creatures like a bear. There was some uh, eagles, a bald eagle, a golden eagle. I saw a bunch of a bunch of other um, critters I saw up there. So I gave you guys a tour through that, and that video is uploaded already. And then I decided I'm going to drive to the beach. So on my way down, I encountered a really bad rainstorm, but I drove through the Redwood National Parks, and that's the uh, that is the video I actually filmed with this. And that video will go live soon after this show uploads. Uh, but so look at the, for my uh, driving through the redwoods. I stopped and got some pictures of oh this massive tree, and then I went on down into Crescent City and in Crescent City, California, over in the coast, they have a aquarium. I went to that aquarium when I was a kid, and then a later as a young adult, I took my uh, my kids, my wife, and we went through and. Um, enjoyed the uh, the aquarium but i just wanted to get away i wanted to go take some video of some fish and take you guys along so that video is coming up soon too still had not made it to the beach because it was stormy and the rain was pounding too hard and i did not want to subject my camera to the rain so we're going to pick a nicer day to go over and spend some time on the beach and there's a couple of other features i want to film over on the coast uh, in a couple different locations, so uh, stay tuned for that. And, and now, I, I was going through some photos the other day, and I found this one. It was the old bill from 19, um, 
'60s. It was a it it was my hospital bill that my parents had received when I went and got my tonsils out. I got my tonsillectomy, and here's what the here, here's the charges as part of the bill. This is what they charged 57 years ago. Can you say inflation? I mean, look at the charges. This is <laughs> this is funny. I mean, I couldn't believe how cheap it was. Of course, back then, uh, an hourly wage was much less than what we're making now. So, uh, cost of inflation goes up across the board. So, just to compare what we paid, uh, how much inflation has got up over the uh, past several years. So, if anybody has a bill that as re a recent bill for a tonsillectomy, <laughs> compare it with this on the a screen. <laughs> you can see how much the um, inflation has hit. Anyway, I went ahead and moved the camera on you guys. If I could show a different angle, but I wanted to catch the light from the window uh, off of my office desk just so you can see it without having to use any of the electrical lights. We're trying to save on electricity. Also, I'm going to be working on the solar. I'm going to get the solar back up and running and uh, get that going because, you know, as I'm getting closer to retirement, I just do, I do, I want to mitigate as much out of pocket uh, expense as I can. So stay tuned for all those shows. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. We're a frugal homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Um, still working on a lot of different activities, like when I get done with this video, I'm going to go in and work some more on the bathroom, um, install. I am installing the shower door today, and I think the shower door is going to take two days to install because there's some sealant on some pieces I need to get set first before I put any more attachments to it because I need to get it sealed and set in place. So, it's going to take probably another four days to complete the whole shower install. It's a slow and tedious process. So uh, check it out. Click that bell icon and uh, subscribe. That will alert you to the new shows as I do upload them. And if you would, give us a thumbs up. Click that share button. Sharing my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. It really helps us out financially because the advertisements you guys see on the shows it helps generate a revenue so I can get some more funds to be able to do more projects and do informative, intuitive videos for you guys. Yep. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode, alright? Take care. Bye-bye now.